on Iowa Live. From the Kyle Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, welcome to Iowa Live. I am Lou, and boy, do we have a very special guest joining us right now. It was just a matter of weeks ago when Miss Polk County was here in studio with us, but now Miss Polk County has been recrowned. Alyssa Gothy, Miss Iowa 2023. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> What an honor it is. Oh my gosh, it's been a whirlwind. It's only been about two and a half weeks, but this has been a dream for 13 years of mine since right. I was 10 years old. So it has been so rewarding, so amazing. I'm just so happy to be back with you. That is great. Now, uh, tell us the process for those that may have missed last visit here of you getting to where you are now as Miss Iowa. How did it all start? It all starts at the local level, so you compete for a local title. I was Miss Polk County, as you mentioned earlier, got to stop in here. And it's a lot about service, so a lot of community service to really prepare for the role of Miss Iowa, which is a service role, but also you're preparing for competition. And the beautiful thing about that preparation is you're not only preparing to be crowned Miss Iowa, but you learn so much professional development skills, like how to speak in front of a crowd, how to be a leader in your community. And all throughout that prep, I was competing in phase for health and fitness, which is a new addition, very fun. We also did a private interview with the judges, which is a lot more intense than just our little conversation <laughs> here. On stage question, I actually won the preliminary on stage question award. Thank you. Evening gown, which most people know is very regal, and then talent. I sang for my talent and had a blast. That is awesome. Also, something else I want to let you know. Uh, when she came in here, we introduced her to our boss, uh, who has a guitar in his <laughs> office. And uh, Alyssa, you uh, you went and played guitar for a little bit. We're gonna post that I a did. little later. Is that okay? Absolutely. Okay. Go for it. She sat down and she uh, cranked out a little Beatles song, so that was really <laughs> neat. But a uh, very, very talented individual, and yeah. what a great uh, representation of the state of Iowa. How proud does it make you feel? being from here? It just means everything. Iowa is where I was born and raised. I actually moved to Chicago for a year for college and I didn't realize how much I would truly miss my home and to be able to represent that and represent everything that Iowa stands for, the people, the culture is the greatest honor and blessing in the world. And I can't wait to prepare for Miss America and represent and make Iowa so proud. That's the next step right now. Yes. When is Miss America? Miss America's in January. We don't know a date yet, so I'll let you know. You'll okay. be one of the first to know. Okay. And I'm just so excited to represent my favorite state on the Miss America stage. All right, that is awesome. Now, what's gonna be happening now? Because um, you had a full-time job. We talked about it last time. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody what you did. I was a vocal music teacher in Des Moines Public Schools. Mm -hmm. And uh, now you have a lot more responsibilities as Miss Iowa. What happened with the, uh, the employment there? Miss Iowa is a full-time job and it's really making the most of my year of service. After I'm Miss Iowa, I'm never going to get to be Miss Iowa again. Right. So living out this dream, serving my community, I've already traveled almost 3,000 miles wow. in four states and I can't wait to keep going. I'm not I'm not stopping anytime soon. So it's like less than three weeks, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes. So they're really, they're really working you. It's all things that I've prepared myself. My board is incredible. They're giving me so many opportunities, but I also had a plan going in and I'm living out that plan and that mission that I said from day one, I would wow. be enacting. Wow, that is awesome. Thank now, uh, were you able to also move your campaign along, your personal yes. campaign too? Yes, my community service initiative is called Not Your Type, Advocating for Type 1 Diabetes. Mm -hmm. As a type 1 diabetic myself, it's really important to have that representation, especially because we have not really had that at the state level before. So getting to represent the type 1 diabetic community, I've already gotten so much love and support from them, and they were there for me when I was diagnosed at 11. So wow. being a Miss Iowa that's showing them and providing for a group that's been underrepresented for so long is also just such an honor and is truly my life's passion. Wow, so the, the traveling, it sounds like, is not going to stop. No, not at all. Oh, okay. Not slowing down. <laughs> <laughs> and getting the message out, that's the really Absolutely. important thing, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, well, we are so very proud of you, and you. we cannot wait for you. The, the steps that you're going to be taking over the next several months, and uh, just keep us informed as to what is going on. But we love the fact <laughs> that you are now wearing the Miss Iowa sash and crown uh, you. that you have, too. Now, are you making any appearances in uh, the Des Moines area or in Iowa? All the time. Okay. All the time. My 
my goal is to hit all 99 counties. I have a 99 county tour planned, okay. so I won't be in Polk County as much as I was as Miss Polk County, but Des Moines is my home away from home and is a place I love. So. All right, now if people want to keep track of, uh, you know, where's uh, where's Miss Iowa instead of where's Miss Waldo, or where's uh, I know Waldo, where do they <laughs> find you? How do they track where you're going to be? On Instagram and Facebook, at Miss America IA is a great place to reach me. You can also go to MissIowa.com and request an appearance to book me for oh, your next really? event. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay, well, we'll see how many people out there would uh, like to have your presence uh, at their establishment, which I'm sure there's going to be a whole lot of. Absolutely. And you're more than happy to do it. Absolutely. Well, we are very, very proud of you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much for coming over. And congratulations once again, yeah. Miss Iowa. As the crowd goes wild, you can hear the crowd going wild upstairs in the control room. How neat is that? And we can't wait for, uh, no, you're going to come visit us, by the way, before uh, Miss America of course. pageant's going to happen. Then after she wins Miss America, <laughs> then you're coming back. Then I'll come back. Then she's First coming stop. back. Okay. <laughs> First stop, even better. Thank you so much <laughs> for coming you. over. All right, don't go anywhere. When we come back, another person that could wear a crown easily, Alex Wilson, is going to be here and find out what we can catch in Des Moines. That's next on my way.